This conference will now be recorded. Okay, guys, we have done section numbers one and two yesterday. Uh, in Cambridge IELTS 11, um, uh, yeah, just one. So we would be doing section number three and four today. Just like yesterday, I would also be using a spotlight like this and I would be highlighting that question number which would be corresponding to the audio so that you guys would not miss anything. And guys, please ensure if you are facing any network issues or if you are getting disconnected, please let me know so that I can stop because you, you guys are, uh, it's very important for you guys to listen to everything and respond to. Yeah, because I would be able to explain to you everything, all the questions and the answers of it, but uh, it's very important for you guys to practice it also because we are virtual. We are here for just one or one and a half hours every day. Uh, and even if you guys wouldn't happen to practice, um, I'll not be very happy and satisfied. And I'm sure you also would not be so. All right, so let's get going, guys. I would be placing my uh, mic near the speaker and I would be playing the audio uh, in a moment's time. Just give me uh, two minutes while I just would open the audio and would play the recording just give me two minutes or less than two minutes as much just because you were not there and you're uh, attending the listening uh, session for the first time i would want you to uh, kindly um, you know make uh, paper and pen handy keep it handy so that you got you have to write the answers okay you got to write the answers over here it is the multiple choice questions, guys. So you got to write A or B or C as the answers between for the questions 21 to 30, and you got to fill up the blanks for the questions 31 to 40. All right, so please keep a pen and a pencil uh, with a paper ready, and we are getting started in some time. <coughs> I'm sorry. All right, guys, do well. Try to score as much as possible, but from um, these are 20 questions, right? Again, there's nothing called as a um, competition, but try to get as many right answers as possible. Okay, here we go. One more minute, guys. Just give me one more minute. Here we go, guys. Get started. Now listen and answer questions 28 to 30. So anyway, I thought for our project we could do a similar study, but investigate whether it really was the writing act. Okay, what's exactly happening over here, guys, is uh, there are two students who are discussing a thesis. Um, that thesis was a research done by Akira Miyaki for the students in the physics subject, right? Is that it? Physics class. Also, that on average, the women who they were made i'm literally struggling with pointing the uh, pointer at the right place answer question yeah here we go questions 21 to 27. okay greg so I finally managed to read the article you mentioned, the one about the study on gender in physics. About the study of college students done by Akira Miyaki and his team. Yeah, 
I was interested that the researchers were actually a mix of psychologists and physicists. That's an unusual combination. Yeah. I got a little confused at first about which students the study was based on. They weren't actually majoring in physics. They were majoring in what's known as the STEM disciplines. That's science, technology, engineering and... And math. Yes, but they were all doing physics courses as part of their studies. That's correct. So, as I understood it, Miyaki and co started from the fact that women are underrepresented in introductory physics courses at college. And also that on average, the women who do enroll on these courses perform more poorly than the men. No one really knows why this is the case. Yeah. But what the researchers wanted to find out was basically what they could do about the relatively low level of the women's results. But in order to find a solution, they needed to find out more about the nature of the problem. Right. Now, let's see if I can remember. It was that in the physics class, the female students thought the male students all assumed that women weren't any good at physics. Was that it? And they thought that the men expected them to get poor results in their tests. That's what the women thought, and that made them nervous. So they did get poor results. But actually, they were wrong. No one was making any assumptions about the female students at all. Anyway, what Miyaki's team did was quite simple. Getting the students to do some writing before they went into the physics class. What did they call it? Values affirmation. They had to write an essay focusing on things that were significant to them, not particularly to do with the subject they were studying, but more general things like music or people who mattered to them. Right. So the idea of doing the writing is that this gets the students thinking in a positive way. And putting these thoughts into words can relax them and help them overcome the psychological factors that lead to poor performance. Yeah. But what the researchers in the study hadn't expected was that this one activity raised the women's physics grades from the C to the B range. A huge change. Pity it wasn't to an A, but still. No, but it does suggest that the women were seriously underperforming beforehand in comparison with the men. Yes. Mind you, Miyaki's article left out a lot of details. Like, did the students do the writing just once or several times? And had they been told why they were doing the writing? That might have affected the results. You mean, if they know the researchers thought it might help them to improve, then they just try to fulfil that expectation? Exactly. Before you hear the rest of the discussion, you have some time to look at questions 28 to 30. Now listen and answer questions 28 to 30. So anyway, I thought for our project we could do a similar study, but investigate whether it really was the writing activity that had that result. OK, so we could ask them to do a writing task about something completely different, something more factual, like a general knowledge topic. Maybe. Or we could have half the students doing a writing task and half doing something else, like an oral task. Or even half do the same writing task as in the original research and half do a factual writing task. Then we'd see if it really is the topic that made the difference or something else. That's it. Good. So, at our meeting with the supervisor on Monday, we can tell him we've decided on our project. We should have our aims ready by then. I suppose we need to read the original study. The article's just a summary. And there was another article I read by Smolinski. It was about her research on how women and men perform in mixed teams in class, compared with single-sex teams and on their own. 
Let me guess, the women were better at teamwork. That's what I expected. But actually, the men and the women got the same results, whether they were working in teams or on their own. But I guess it's not that relevant to us. What worries me, anyway, is how we're going to get everything done in the time. We'll be OK now we know what we're doing. Though, I'm not clear how we assess whether the students in our experiment actually make any progress or not. No, we may need some advice on that. The main thing's to make sure we have the right size sample, not too big or too small. That shouldn't be difficult. Right, what do we need to do next? We could have a look at the timetable for the science classes. Or perhaps we should just make an appointment to see one of the science professors. That'd be better. Great. And we could even get to observe one of the classes. What for? Well, OK, maybe let's just go with your idea. Right, well, I think that's everything for now. That is the end of section three. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Now turn to section four. Section four. You will hear part of a student presentation about the variety of different species that live in the world's oceans. They've been surveying. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully and answer questions 31 to 40. I've been looking at ocean biodiversity, that's the diversity of species that live in the world's oceans. About 20 years ago, biologists developed the idea of what they called biodiversity hotspots. These are the areas which have the greatest mixture of species. So one example is Madagascar. These hotspots are significant because they allow us to locate key areas for focusing efforts at conservation. Biologists can identify hotspots on land fairly easily, but until recently, very little was known about species distribution and diversity in the oceans, and no one even knew if hotspots existed there. Then a Canadian biologist called Boris Worm did some research in 2005 on data on ocean species that he got from the fishing industry. Worm located five hotspots for large ocean predators, like sharks, and looked at what they had in common. The main thing he'd expected to find was that they had very high concentrations of food, but to his surprise, that was only true for four of the hotspots. The remaining hotspot was quite badly off in that regard. But what he did find was that in all cases, the water at the surface of the ocean had relatively high temperatures, even when it was cool at greater depths. 
So, this seemed to be a factor in supporting a diverse range of these large predators. However, this wasn't enough on its own, because he also found that the water needed to have enough oxygen in it. So these two factors seemed necessary to support the high metabolic rate of these large fish. A couple of years later, in 2007, a researcher called Lisa Balance, who was working in California, also started looking for ocean hotspots, but not for fish. What she was interested in was marine mammals, things like seals. And she found three places in the oceans which were hotspots. And what these had in common was that these hotspots were all located at boundaries between ocean currents. And this seems to be the sort of place that has lots of the plankton that some of these species feed on. So now people who want to protect the species that are endangered need to get as much information as possible. For example, there's an international project called the Census of Marine Life. Oceans all over the world, including the Arctic. One thing they found there, which stunned other researchers, was that there were large numbers of species which live below the ice, sometimes under a layer up to 20 meters thick. Some of these species had never been seen before. They've even found species of octopus living in these conditions. And other scientists working on the same project, but researching very different habitats on the ocean floor, have found large numbers of species congregating around volcanoes, attracted to them by the warmth and nutrients there. However, biologists still don't know how serious the threat to their survival is for each individual species. So a body called the Global Marine Species Assessment is now creating a list of endangered species on land so they consider things like the size of the population, how many members of one species there are in a particular place, and then they look at their distribution in geographical terms. Although this is quite difficult when you're looking at fish because they're so mobile. And then thirdly, they calculate the rate at which the decline of the species is happening. So far, only 1,500 species have been assessed, but they want to increase this figure to 20,000. For each one they assess, they use the data they collect on that species to produce a map showing its distribution. Ultimately, they will be able to use these to figure out not only where most species are located, but also where they are most threatened. So, finally, what can be done to retain the diversity of species in the world's oceans? Firstly, we need to set up more reserves in our oceans, places where marine species are protected. We have some, but not enough. In addition, to preserve species such as leatherback turtles, which live out in the high seas but have their nesting sites on the American coast, we need to create corridors for migration so they can get from one area to another safely. As well as this, action needs to be taken to lower the levels of fishing quotas to prevent overfishing of endangered species. And finally, there's the problem of bycatch. This refers to the catching of unwanted fish by fishing boats. They're returned to the sea, but they're often dead or dying. If these commercial fishing boats used equipment which was more selective so that only the fish wanted for consumption were caught, this problem could be overcome. OK, so does anyone have any questions? That is the end of section four. You now have half a minute to check your answers.
That is the end of the listening test. You now have ten minutes to transfer your answers to the answer sheet. Okay, guys, how was it? Tough or easy? Third section is quite uh, difficult. Okay. How about the fourth section? You found it easy? Uh, uh, not very easy. Not very easy, but uh, compared to third section, it's quite easy. It was quite easier. Okay, all right. Say the. Yes, our third section was a little bit confusing. And fourth section, a little bit easy, but I missed uh -huh. some um, two, three answers. Is it? Okay. So let's check the answers. And how about uh, Azmat, by the way? Azmat, how did you find this to be? third section was a little bit uh, confusing. No problem. We'll discuss all the way. All of you might have felt uh, it to be difficult. As I mentioned earlier as well, that um, the third section itself is quite difficult because it, if you have the choose the right multiple choice questions in it. So you would have a lot of content to read and uh, there would be a lot of paraphrasing. So I'll let you know today is the day when I had promised that I would be talking about um, the tip as to how to reduce the time and how to read everything and then get the uh, the meaning of each and every sentence in the options like these. OK, so we'll talk about that. But before I do that, let me give you guys the answers from 21. I'm so sorry, from 21 to 40. OK, so the first one, um, I'm sorry, the 21st is C as in Charlie. OK. 20, 21 to 40, yes. Uh, 21st is C as in Charlie. 22nd is B as in Boston. Um, 23rd also is B as in Boston. All right. And then we have um, 24th is C as in Charlie. 25th is A as in Alpha. Okay. 26th is B as in Boston. All right, and uh, 27th is C as in Charlie. 28th is A as in Alpha. Um, 29th is B as in uh, Boston. And 30th is A as in Alpha. There's no D at all from 21 to 40. All right, guys. Let's move on to the fourth, fourth section now, the final section, and the answers from 31st to 40, 40th are these. 31st is conservation, C-O-N-S-E-R-V-A-T-I-O-N, -E conservation. Um, 32nd is foods, or food, F-O-O-D, food. Okay, and 33rd is surface, S-U-R-F-A-C-E, surface. Um, 34th is oxygen, 35th is mammals, and the spelling of mammals is M-A-M-M-A-L-S. Now guys, people write this word incorrectly. They write M-A-M-A-L also at times. So that um, makes it a wrong answer because the spelling is also considered in IELTS listening and reading. If you make a spelling mistake in the answer, unfortunately that goes wrong. Right, so please ensure that you have written everything in capital letter, first of all. Secondly, that the spelling of the word is correct. M-A-M-M-A-L-S. That was the answer for 35th. 36th is ice. I-C-E, ice. Baraf. Don't write baraf. I-C-E. 37th is um, decline or decrease. If you've written decline, uh, that's the right answer. Even if you've written degree, that's also the right answer. 38th is map, M-A-P, map. Now guys, here, just a minute. 37th, as I mentioned, in the answer sheet, in the answers, it is given as decline as well as decrease, okay? But I want you guys to write only that word which is there in the audio. The, so the meaning of decline can be decrease. There's no doubt in that. Yeah, but uh, I don't want you guys to use your own logic and use any other synonym because this time in 37th, if you write decline, rate of decline or rate of decrease, if you say rate of decrease, I don't think that is, I do not uh, uh, agree with Cambridge book over here. We don't say rate of decrease. 
we say rate rate of decline itself right so um, um the word decline was there in the audio so i want you guys only to write the word which is there in the audio 38th is map map distribution map you got to write only map over there 39th is migration and 40th is consumption all right so these are the uh, answers i just want you guys to take half a minute's time and let me know how many right answers you guys have got and you will be telling this to me not for the sake of me figuring out i mean there's not a competition as i mentioned or earlier it's for me to understand how you guys are doing so that i can give the feedback accordingly an explanation All right, guys, so how many right answers out of 20 have you guys got? Uh, I got 10, sir. 10 zeros, okay, okay. We'll discuss. Uh, but were you able to listen to everything or did you miss anything? The audio, I mean. I was able to listen to everything. Okay, all right, cool. Azmat, you were saying something. Yes, sir, I got 13 answers. 13, 1, 3? Yeah, 1, 3. All right, all right, not, not bad. All right, and say that. Yes, sir, 13 from my side too. 13 as well from, you have scored 13, cool. All right, uh, not a bad score to get started with, with the first test, guys, except Feroz. Feroz, um, I want you to uh, pick up, uh, pick up the pace, and I'm sure today's session was going to help you guys, especially in terms of you guys understanding how to crack the uh, questions which would have lengthy options like these, okay? Now the answer to that is guys, for example, now this one, the first one is quite easy and simple. You firstly, you got to read the question and you got to do this multiple times guys, unless you become very proficient in this. What is that you're supposed to do? Just read this. The students in Akira Miyaki study were all majoring. So the major thing, what do you think is the actual crux uh, the, the actual point of debate, the actual point of sentence. So what's the actual point in this sentence is uh, students Akira Miyake's research or study majoring. Ye jinke opar Akira Miyake ne uh, research kiya hai. Wo, wo bachche jinke opar research kiya gaya tha. Wo bachchon ka major kiya tha. Jo wo pohra tha. Civics tha, mathematics tha, physics tha kiya tha. Okay. So you got to understand this. You got to read this and you got to understand the crux or the actual um, uh, what do you call the the actual point which erupts from the sentence right you got to understand that that's very very important and then <clears throat> come to the options you hear the options are small um, very brief one word or three words so physics physics and psychology or science technology engineering or mathematics then this is okay now, how would you get the answer? Now, first tell me how many of you want me to discuss the answers between or which questions do you want me to discuss between 21 to 25? As of now, only 21 to 25. Where is that you went wrong? Or even if you might not have gone wrong, but you can tell me, Adim, although I got 23rd correct, I want you to explain it to me, All right? I'll talk about that. Because what I want to do is, let's focus on those questions where you went wrong. Not everybody might have, even if one person has went wrong over there, let's discuss that one because that might have confused you in terms of not just reading, but also understanding. So if we take a look at that, that would save time. And at the same time, I would also be able to convey the message of the tip and trick, which I want to uh, give it to you. Hey, Rose. Sir, can you please explain 23rd, 24th and 25th? Three okay anybody else guys 23rd 24th 25th anybody wants to say 21st and 22nd also 22nd all right 22nd so i'll explain 22nd to 25th now 22nd says the aim of miyaki study was to investigate what yeah so here there are two major points yeah which give you the uh, idea or the uh, topic statement or you say the crux or the core 
जो मग्स बोलते हैं ना वो दो को अगर आप पढ़ लिए ये सेंट एक क्वेश्चन में से तो आपको समझ में आ जाता है ये क्वेश्चन क्या है वॉट दिस क्वेश्चन इज ऑल अबाउट फर्स्टली इज द एम ऑफ मिया की स्टडी वॉज टू इन्वेस्टिगेट या दे आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिसर्च डन बाई अकीरा मिया की या सो मिया की स्टडी इज नॉट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट ऑफकोर्स यू वुड रीड इट बट यू गॉट टू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दीज टू वर्ड्स नाउ एम इज a noun and uh, uh, an investigate is also a noun at times aim also becomes a verb so these two words are very important as i mentioned earlier and yesterday also um, especially not just a question but also with in the answers you got to focus on three different types of parts of speech one is a verb second is a noun third is the adjective you can also concentrate on adverb okay if you want to know more information about what is noun adjective verb and adverb you can take a look at the english enhancement material which i have sent it to you if you want to read that in detail but i would still let you guys know and understand what is a noun what is an adjective what is a verb and an adverb noun is that word in the sentence which is either a name of a person or a place or an animal or anything which exists in this world for example sand it's a name of something mobile it's a name of something camera it's a name of something something which is a non living being right stars sun it can be singular it can be plural right so a name of something name of a place or something or an animal or a place that is a noun you got to focus on that secondly you got to focus on a verb what is a verb verb shows action yeah वो वर्ड जिसके आखिर में आप आई एन जी लगा सकते हो उसको वो वो वर्ब वर्ब रहता है आई मीन आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू लेम एन आइडेंटिफिकेशन मार्क फॉर दिस वर्ड द वर्ड आफ्टर विच यू कैन यू कैन राइट आई एन जी बट नॉट एवरी टाइम दैट कैन बी दैट इज योर वर्ब फॉर एग्जाम्पल सिट यू कैन से सिटिंग ईट यू कैन से ईटिंग so these are the words which show the action which is performed by someone that's these are called as the action words those are the verbs right just for example beautiful can you say beautifuling right bag can you say bagging no so those are the nouns right but the words which end with ing are usually uh, the verbs all right so concentrate on the verbs as well and then thirdly you have adjectives adjective is that word which gives more information about a noun how if i say cat what is a cat it's a name of a particular animal but if i say um, healthy cat so it is giving the word healthy is giving more information about the cat which is a noun so healthy this word becomes a an adjective it is giving more how is the cat cat kaisi hai so this word healthy is giving information about the cat more information it's saying that it's healthy you can say the cat is sick so how is the cat it is sick so the word sick also becomes an adjective right a uh, tall man intelligent boy so tall man tall is the adjective intelligent boy intelligent is the adjective yeah powerful bike powerful is the adjective and bike is the noun right and then adverb adverb is that word which gives more information about a verb see now uh, adjective gives more information about a noun adverb gives me more information about the verb right so it is self explanatory ad verb it adds more meaning to the word in a sentence right for example um, he ate quickly so quickly yahan par how was the action performed it was performed quickly he ate quickly yeah he studied thoroughly studied studying right study studied studying these are all the verbs how was the study performed it was he studied thoroughly how was he studying thoroughly thoroughly is your adverb so adverb gives more information about uh, a verb right so you got to concentrate on these four just do this guys if you just master and understand these four types of parts of speech you would be able to crack this point very very easily right and now what you're supposed to do is the next thing one is once you have become the master in underlining those words which are either noun or adjective or 
um, adverb or verb then the next thing that the next thing that you got to do is to work on reading quickly what is reading quickly it is called as skimming skimming means reading quickly you don't have to worry about small words like this off to right what right so you can just remove them and then just concentrate of kind what kind of woman choose to study physics okay so kind of woman choose study physics right just concentrate on these okay and then underline like this as well okay then so b way of improving women's performance in physics okay way improving performance there's all about women okay physics underline only and concentrate only on these four words when you read the audio right because they would be talking about all these things and all of these words that you are underlining guys these words would either be pronounced in the audio by the speaker or the synonyms of these words will be pronounced for sure 100 percent right either exactly these words or the synonyms synonym is synonym means a different word which conveys the same meaning right for example humbleness and compassion it means the same right um, uh, and then care and uh, sorry uh, possible and probable it means the same possible and probable so these are the synonyms the ones which i'm asking you to underline the adjectives uh, the nouns adjectives verbs and adverbs if you just underline them quickly by reading it you would either be listening to the same word in the audio or you would be listening to its um, synonym and synonym once they are using if they are using synonym that's called as paraphrasing of the sentence i'm going to remember that uh, sentence which i said i'm going to bangalore i am heading towards bangalore right it means the same rather than going saying going i'm saying heading so heading and going means the same right so that's your synonym and then finally uh, the option number c whether fewer women than men study physics at college yeah fewer women than men just underline this one uh, you don't literally have to remember all of this so if you just underline this you would come to know if they are talking about less women studying if you want to underline studying also you can do that okay studying at the college yeah so let's now listen to the audio and let's see what exactly is that they uh, the the what do you call the audio talks about them okay just give me a minute so that i would uh, rewind the audio i literally struggled in putting the pointer at the right place at the initial part of the session just give me one minute guys Okay, now let's take a look at the question. The question says, the aim of Miyaki's study was to investigate. Yaha par in, is investigate kis ke upar kiye hain? Zyadatar aim kya tha Miyaki ka research ka? Okay. What was the aim? What was the goal? Why did Akira Miyaki do this, um, what do you call, investigation, sorry, uh, research? Let me just check. Now, let me give you some idea. No. But they were all doing physics courses okay. as part of their studies. That's correct. So, as I understood it, Miyaki and co. started from the fact that women are underrepresented in introductory physics courses at college. And also that on average, the women who do enroll on these courses perform more poorly than the men. No one really knows why this is the case. Yeah. But what the researchers wanted to find out was basically what the researchers wanted to find out. What to see? I have underlined the word investigate. Investigate means to find out, right? This is how you would come to know. And I also came to know that the audio now came to uh, in the in the context of question number 22, 22nd, right? 
about but what the uh, the researchers wanted to find out was well, he'll talk about that now that this time has come for you to take a look at options a b and c find out means to investigate isn't it it's all simple guys it's all about how quickly you can read so i'm talking about multiple choice questions how um you quickly you can read and underline the nouns adjectives verbs and adverbs and then do the same for the options as well and then get those synonyms that you have under uh, underlined if you get this doing quickly you got to practice a little bit for this we'll do this third and the fourth section again tomorrow because you guys are not facing a lot of difficulties in the sections one and two so we'll do sections three and four again tomorrow a different uh, test and uh, i'm sure that this tip which i'm giving you that will really really help you all right so let's see what exactly they are talking i'm just rewinding 10 seconds uh, back i'm rewinding the audio by 10 seconds let's listen to it once again okay let me read it out once again so that it remains fresh in your mind the aim of me now guys i'm getting into an in-depth explanation and giving the tip more practically so that you guys can crack this one the major problem which people face in listening is the multiple choice questions itself especially if the options are having lengthy sentences like these okay so just that's, that's why I'm spending as much time as possible for you to become well versed with it. Once you become well versed, you'll be more confident. All right, so let me read the question and the options once again for question number 22nd. The aim of Miyaki's study was to investigate what? What kind of women choose to study physics or a way of improving women's performance in physics or whether fewer women than men study physics at college. Okay, so what was the aim of the investigation? Let's take a look perform more poorly than the men. No one really knows why this is the case. Yeah, but what the researchers wanted to find out was basically what they could do about the relatively low level of the women's results. But in order to find a solution, they needed to find out more about the nature of the problem. Right. Now, guys, did you get it? Can, who can tell me now? Okay, you can give a half answer as well, but at least try. Why do you think I've given you the answer? The answer is a B. Why don't you think answer A, sorry, option number A is the answer? Why should we select option B? Who can say? Did you guys get the paraphrasing? There's all about paraphrasing. A few of the words have already been used also. Any idea? Or sh shall I rewind it a bit? Okay, I'll rewind. Yeah, Asmat? Sorry, rewind. Sure. So take a look at it and you guys let me know, okay? You can go wrong, no problem. I'm just reminding it. Relatively low level of the women's no, results. No, no, wait. So let me just rewind it further. Why this is the case? Yeah. But what the researchers wanted to find out was basically what they could do about the relatively low level of the women's results. But in order to find a solution, they needed to find out more about the nature of the problem um he has said the words which are the paraphrased phrase of this phrase the paraphrasing is in the in this part the way of improving women's performance who could get that paraphrased part of the sentence in the audio who can tell me the words that he has used yeah you want me to replay this again I want you guys to figure it out and let me know. Perform more poorly than the men. No one really knows why this is the case. Yeah, but what the researchers wanted to find out was basically what they could do about the relatively low level of the women's results. But in order... What they could do to relatively... Yeah. Low level. Low level. Yeah, so it means... Yeah, पढ़ाई में फिजिक्स की पढ़ाई में बहुत अच्छे नहीं है लिहाजा इन लोगों के आस्ते हम क्या कर सकते हैं मतलब हाउ टू इंप्रूव द वे ऑफ इंप्रूविंग वुमेंस परफॉर्मेंस इन फिजिक्स सिंपल राइट कूल वे ऑफ इंप्रूविंग इज हियर द क्रक्स ऑफ द सेंटेंस या सो दिस इज हाउ यू वुड डू इट सो अजमत गॉट इट हाउ अबाउट फेरोज एंड सैयद आई एम गोइंग वेरी स्लो आई एम ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड या सैयद सर सर सेम low level he used low level yeah you got it right okay you didn't go wrong here at all no, no. okay cool um, now feroz had a problem in understanding this feroz did you get it now 
yes sir hello all right so let's yes so yes, got sir. you okay got you. fine okay so let's proceed now to question number 23rd 23rd says the female physics students were among sorry were wrong to believe so over here the word wrong and believe is the uh, and you can also if you wish to you can underline the female students you don't literally have to worry of the word physics because here they are talking about physics itself yeah so the female physics students were wrong to believe aisa kya sunch rahe the physics padhne wale ladkiyan jo ke galat tha ठीक है वॉट वॉज द टीचर्स मार्क दम इन एन अनफेयर वे बच्चे यहाँ समझ रहे थे गलत समझ रहे बच्चों की गलत सोच ये थी कि हमारे टीचर्स हमको जो है कम मार्क्स होना बोल के कम मार्क्स दे रहे हैं ठीक है सो टीचर मार्क दम टीचर्स मार्क्ड अनफेयरली और अनफेयर वे ठीक है द मेल स्टूडेंट्स एक्सपेक्टेड दैम टू डू बैडली वो लोग ये समझ रहे थे उन लोगों का ये परसेप्शन था कि मेल स्टूडेंट्स क्लास के ये समझते हैं कि हम लोग फिजिक्स में बुरे हैं ठीक है अगर ऐसा सोच रहे हैं तो जो है वो लोग की सोच ये रॉन्ग थी रॉन्ग तो ऑलरेडी है यहाँ पे तो यू हैव टू कैच द वर्ड वेर इन दर्डियो स्पीकर द स्पीकर इन दर्डियो आर टेलिंग दैट वेर एग्जैक्टली वेर द रॉन्ग इन द सेकेंड थिंग इज द फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स में थिंकिंग द मेल स्टूडेंट्स थिंक दैट दे परफॉर्म बैड इन फिजिक्स एक्सपेक्टेड them to do badly okay and then finally this option c this their test results were lower than the male students overall agar poor on ka agar results hum dekhe to ladkiyan samajh rahe the ki pure as a class as a group dekha gaya to ladkiyan samajh rahe the ki wo log ladkon se overall bura perform kiye hain physics mein okay their results were lower than the male students अब आप लोग कंफ्यूजन कहाँ होता है मालूम यहाँ पर कंफ्यूजन होता है बी और सी में यू गेट कंफ्यूज इन ऑप्शन बी एंड सी बट वॉट्स द डिफरेंस बिटवीन बी एंड सी यहाँ पर भी कंपैरिजन की बात हो रही है मेल एंड फीमेल की और ऑप्शन नंबर सी में भी बात हो रही है कंपैरिजन मेल एंड फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स की लेकिन यहाँ पर है एक्सपेक्टेड द फीमेल थिंग द फीमेल स्टूडेंट्स वर थिंकिंग दैट द मेल स्टूडेंट्स ओनली एक्सपेक्टेड सिर्फ सोचे हैं वो कैसा सोच रहे थे लोग बच्चे हम बच्चे हमारे ताल्लुक से ऐसा सोचते हैं कि हम लोग लेकिन थर्ड ऑप्शन नंबर सी में क्या है रियलिटी है कि रिजल्ट्स ही हमारे पूरे जो है गलत आए हैं बल्कि ऐसा सोचना उनका ठीक है तो यहाँ पर दीज टू ऑप्शंस लुक वेरी क्लोज बट दे आर नॉट वेरी क्लोज ऑप्शन नंबर बी इज मोर फिक्शनल दे आर जस्ट थिंकिंग बट ऑप्शन नंबर सी इज ऑल्सो रिलेटेड टू थिंकिंग बट इट्स गॉट टू डू मोर विथ रिजल्ट राइट कूल so let's play the play the audio and let's see um results were lower this is the crux of this sentence now you might be understanding you might be asking me a question alim how is that you are underlining which word how should we come to know which word to under, underline i told you already uh you have to underline the verbs noun or result a result is a noun were is a verb although an auxiliary auxiliary verb and then lower lower is um it is an adjective actually right so you how are the results the word lower so lower is the adjective you might also say male students if you wish to do and underline this also you can also do this male students but you don't literally have to worry about uh their and test than and the all right let me play the audio now and uh, let's see what is the answer in order to find a solution they needed to find out more about the nature of the problem right now let's see if i can remember it was that in the physics class the female students thought the male students all assumed that women weren't any good at physics yeah they all assumed assume बोलते हैं ना अपन assume इसी से assume in the accent assume का मतलब यहाँ पर कहाँ है wrongly to believe assume मतलब सिर्फ गुमान करना ठीक है लोग हम परेशान हो जाते हैं ना for example रात में आपकी नींद होशार हुई लाइट चले गई चले गई है आपका आपका ये perception है कि तख्त हिल रहा कोई भूत जो है हिला रहा that is your assumption आप भाई को उठाते भैया उठो जी या फिर जल्जला भी नहीं आ रहा मगर मेरा तखत हिल रहा है ऐसा दिख रहा मेरे को भूत भूत दिख रहा 
आपके भाई आर बोलते हैं अरे सो जाए आर हो क्या बारह बजे एक दो बजे उठा के हमारी नींद खराब कर रहे हैं सो दैट्स ओनली योर असम्शन असम्शन इज इट नीड नॉट नेसेसरिली बी करेक्ट so this is where they are indicating that the female students were wrong to believe what were they wrong to believe okay so let me rewind it and replay this they were wrong to i've you got the answer already okay in the audio when i played just now but let's take a look at it again it was that in the physics class the female students thought the male students all assumed that women weren't any good at physics Was that it? Woman, woman students were not very good at it. At what? At physics. Yeah. They all thought that. They all thought that the male students all assumed that they are not very good at physics. At it means at physics. Yeah. So, then is that it? Bol rahe hone. Aisa hai nahi? Aise samjhe na log. That's what we say, right? In Urdu. So, which means they were thinking certainly in that way. Okay, so that's why you have to select the option number B as the answer. The male students expected them to do badly. बच्चे समझ रहे थे कि वो लोग नहीं बच्चियां समझ रहे थे कि बच्चे वो लोगों को कमतर जान रहे हैं. अरे हे लोग क्या बच्चियां जो है लोगों को नहीं आता हमें physics. ऐसा बच्चे बोल रहे हैं बोलके लड़कियां समझ रहे थे. ठीक है. So that's what she says in the audio, and that's that's your answer. Right, guys? Did you get it? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Cool. Feroz and Saida, got it. Yes, sir. Yeah. Perfect. Cool. Cool. All right. Let's move on to twenty twenty fifth. I'm sorry, twenty fourth. Twenty fourth says, <clears throat> Miyaki's team asked the students to write about. Abu Ilong, what are they doing? अब इन लोगों की जो है जहनी हालत ऐसी है बच्चियों की जो फिजिक्स पढ़ रहे हैं अब इन लोगों के फिजिक्स के परफॉर्मेंस को अच्छा करना तो कैसा करना तो उन लोगों को एक राइटिंग टास्क दिए अब राइटिंग टास्क में क्या लिखो बोले उन लोग ये है आपका सवाल ठीक है सो मिया की स्टीम आज द स्टूडेंट्स टू राइट अबाउट आज द स्टूडेंट्स राइट अबाउट अब इतना अगर आप अंडरलाइन कर लिए इफ यू कॉन्सेंट्रेट ऑन दीज थिंग्स अंडरलाइन दिस that would be helpful and try to do at least this underlining especially of questions 24th sorry uh, questions 21st 22nd and 23rd as well as with their uh, options in those 30 seconds i know guys it is slightly tougher but it is doable i want you guys to do this and let's do this i'll give you the task today kal hum kaun sa audio play karenge main uska aapko aaj de deta hu so you have to work You don't have to listen to the audio of it. I'll do it. I'll let you guys listen tomorrow. But what you would do is, you will be reading the questions and you would be underlining those words, which are nouns, adjectives, verbs, and adverbs. Right? Looks like Saida, you got a, a got a question. No, no, sir. All right, cool. So this is what it is. Now the question number twenty fourth is: Miyaki's team asked the students to write about what, what they enjoyed about physics. Studying physics is nothing but physics. the successful experiences of other people <clears throat> experience successful experience of others okay and something that was important to them personally okay important personally okay ab bachiyon ko jo hai physics mein acche marks nahi aa rahe hain to kya karna to mia ki ki jo team hai jo research kar rahi thi inke upar ye bachiyon ke upar wo log bole ek aise likho ab aise kiske upar likho bole that is the question question number 24 let's see in the audio what have they asked them to write about and they thought that the men expected them to get poor results in their tests that's what the women thought and that made them nervous so they did get poor results but and this is still related to question number 23 <clears throat> let's proceed now but actually they were wrong No one was making any assumptions about the female students at all. This is also the uh, answer which you are getting from the audio for question number twenty-three. That option number B is the right answer. Right now, they will be talking about twenty-fourth. Anyway, what Miyaki's team did was quite simple: getting the students to do some writing before they went into the physics class. What did they call it? Values affirmation. They had to write an essay focusing on things that were significant to them, not particularly to do with the subject they were studying, 
but more general things like music or people who mattered to them. Right. Music or people who matter to them. Now, physics class, what do you say to the kids? You write an essay. Now, what do you write in this essay? Write about anything which mattered to them, but not related to studies or physics, but related to um, something which is uh, very significant to them, uh, like music and whatever they liked, maybe their family members. So, this music, the reason, uh, the, the hobbies and interest, ke mein, agar jo bola ja hai, what is that? That is more important to them personally, right? So the word we had underlined, the word personally, usko paraphrase kya ja raha hai, um, uh, um, audio mein, right? And significant, wo bola, that is nothing but important. I think he said important or significant. So the word is there in the audio. If the word important is not there, his the word significant, if that's there. Yeah, what did he say? Say that, do you remember? Yes, sir, significant. He said significant. So the words, yeah, significant. significant is there. So this is the paraphrased word in the audio for important, right? So anything which is related to, for example, if I tell you guys, write something about your hobbies, write something about you, something that you like, something about your parents, so that is more personal to you, that is not related to the domain that you are studying in your college. That's not related to physics, right? So that is more personal, yeah? Ye ho gaya hai. Chika. Fine, I hope this is clear. And uh, let's take a look at 25th now. What was the aim of the writing exercise done by the subjects? Now, this is a personal topic that I wrote in the physics class before I entered the physics class. Why do they do this? 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 Why do this is not uh, a lot of content okay this the content is less so you would not face any challenge in getting uh, the answer okay so let's see what they say in the audio right so the idea of doing the writing is that the idea of doing the writing means the maqsad ye writing karwane ka means the aim of the writing idea of the writing aim of the writing remember last time i had underlined the aim writing aim of the writing is nothing but the idea of the writing right this is a paraphrasing that's what i'm telling you if you just underline those words pick and choose the nouns adjectives verbs and adverbs if you underline them no it's acha wo synonyms bhi jo istemal kar rahe hain waisa koi high fi word bhi nahi hai you know that the synonym of aim is the idea aim idea goal these are all the synonyms you know it very well you would be able to pick it very quickly right and this is how once i tell you this is how you would improve your comprehension and understand comprehension means understanding of the content which is given to you in the written form right so the idea was what let's take a look this gets the students thinking in a positive way and putting these thoughts into words can relax them and help them overcome the psychological factors he said the answer now there's one thing which is coming into picture one word which is thinking right that might confuse you and few of you might have heard thinking are you thinking hai yaan pa chalo, tick kar denge. Nahi. so that's what listening is that's what is listening guys how would you prove that you have good listening skills so if technically thinking hai will get thinking up a rana tick kar denge, will get nahi as a calm chill never done he has to come on nahi. what you got to do you got to understand what this entire uh, phrase talks about in option number c in option number b in option number a right how would you be able to do that again by underlining those four types of words. And then she said, although she said the word thinking, but she said, what thinking? Positive thinking. But here the option number C is not talking about positive thinking, it's talking about logical thinking. Logical thinking is different from positive thinking. Logical, positive thinking will to are merisa jobi hunga, achai chunga. That is positive positive thinking. Like in logical thinking, is cool to as a hua to as a hunga as a hua to as a hunga as a hunga to fair as a chunga, right? You come with a uh, um, what do you say, logic, for example, up ke mother joe, 
चूल्हे पे चाय का प्याला चाय का प्याला कैसा रख सकते हैं सॉस पैन रखे समझे चाय है उसमें ठीक है वो उबल गया उबल गया फिर आप जो है उन्हों फॉर एग्जांपल आपके मम्मी चाय रख कर चाय चढ़ा के जो है भूल गए उसके बाद फिर आप आते बाहर से स्कूल से आते चार बजे भी रहते स्कूल या कॉलेज से आते वॉट यू कम एंड यू फाइंड के स्टव खुला है सॉरी स्टव का नॉब खुला है लेकिन आंच नहीं है आग नहीं है नॉब में और चाय उबल कर जो है नीचे थोड़ी स्टव पे गिरी भी है यू विल थिंक लॉजिकली हाँ मम्मी चढ़ाए होंगे ये चढ़ा के बहुत देर हुई होंगी वो जब तक वो देर में जो है उबल गई होंगी चाय उबल के आंच पे गिरी आंच पे गिरते चूल्हा बंद हो गया और जो है ये अब तक गिरे हुआ है ये ठीक है फिर गैस की भी बुआ रही है दिस इज लॉजिकल थिंकिंग दैट्स नॉट पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग सो व्हाट शी वाज टॉकिंग इन द ऑडियो वाज अबाउट पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस इज नॉट द ऑप्शन बिकॉज़ दिस टॉक्स अबाउट लॉजिकल थिंकिंग नॉट पॉजिटिव थिंकिंग बट ही सेज लेटर ऑन दिस बॉय सेज इन द ऑडियो दैट इट हेल्प्स देम रिलैक्स रिलैक्स इज द पैराफ्रेज्ड वर्ड फॉर रिड्यूसिंग स्ट्रेस है ना सो दैट्स योर ऑप्शन नंबर टू फॉर दोस हु सेड 25th is what if you if you if you uh, asked me to explain that's your answer theek hai guys are you getting it yes sir as much fair as yeah cool yeah. any questions oh, yeah any questions so far no nothing all right perfect uh let's move on i'm going very very slow guys i know you might be exhausted बट आई इट्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर मी टू लेट यू गाइज अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस वे अगर मैं ऐसा नहीं करूंगा सिर्फ मैं अगर कराते रहा नहीं नहीं प्रैक्टिस कर लो प्रैक्टिस कर लो प्रैक्टिस कर लो बोले तो वो होने वाला नहीं है आई हैव टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ टू बिल्ड कॉम्प्रीहेंशन इससे आपकी कॉम्प्रीहेंसिव एबिलिटीज इंप्रूव होती हैं एंड यू वुड बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड थिंग्स बेटर यू विल बी एबल टू यूज द सेम लॉजिक नेक्स्ट टाइम ऑन वर्ड्स ऑल दो इन द नेक्स्ट टेस्ट दीज वुड नॉट बी द सेम uh sentences and the audio that you would be listening to would also not be the same but you would at least be able to understand how to figure out what words to underline how to read quickly what is that you're supposed to read what's that you can eliminate what all words you can eliminate from reading and how is that you can catch the answer while listening to the audio and correspond that with the content right now let's move on to okay now guys tell me 26th to 30th which ones do you want me to explain Twenty-six to thirtieth. Twenty-six to twenty-six to twenty-eight. Twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight. All right. Others. Anybody says twenty-ninth and thirtieth? So carry on with the twenty-six to twenty-eight. Okay. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So twenty-six, twenty-seven, and twenty-eight are the ones which I'm going to explain. Since you all guys have got twenty-ninth and twenty-thirtieth, correct? I wouldn't be explaining that. <clears throat> all right. Twenty-sixth says. What does it say? What surprised the researchers about the study? चलिए ये वो लोग जो है writing task दे दिए थे वो लोगों को बोले कि anything that you know that you not know but anything which is personal to you write about that. अब इसके बाद वो लोग जो study carry forward कर रहे researchers ये बच्चियों पर physics के बारे में वो लोग के physics studies के बारे में तो वो लोगों को आश्चर्य चकित कहाँ पर हो गए? Where were they surprised? Let's take a look at that. Uh, before we do that, let us uh, let us see the options how students how few students manage to get a grade okay now you don't literally have to uh, underline only a grade you have to also write students managed okay students how students managed a grade the positive impact it had on physics results for women okay positive impact physics result women right and the difference between male and female performance difference male female performance all right these are the words that you got to concentrate upon when you listen to the audio let's take a look that lead to poor performance yeah <clears throat> but what the researchers in the study hadn't expected was that this one activity now how would you come to know that the audio is audio is now talking about question number 26 what the researchers hadn't expected jo log expect nahi kare wo aa gaya samne it comes as a surprise yeah what they hadn't expected means it's a surprise surprise kisko bolte hain aapki birthday hai and uh, your you were not expecting your father to gift you a bike lekin aapke birthday pe 
आपके फादर बोलते हैं कि लो बेटा ये है आपके एफ की चाबी है या महा एफ ठीक है सो यू डिड नॉट एक्सपेक्ट दैट so that comes to you as a surprise okay so the paraphrased part in the audio for the word surprised over here is is what they hadn't expected all right so let's take a look at it once again let me just remind it a bit overcome the psychological factors that lead to poor performance yeah but what the researchers in the study hadn't expected was that this one activity raised the women's physics grades from the C to the B range. A huge change. Pity it wasn't to an A, but still. Now this, one of the major um, uh, ways in which you can um, get the answer, guys, right, is to eliminate those options which you're sure are not the answers. For example, last at the final point of this audio this part of the audio this lady says that pity it was not an a are you not see se upar to aage bhai lekin a nahi aaye bichare a to bhi aa jana tha ye bachcha theek hai ye bolna cha rahi hai which means how different student how few students manage to get a grade ye log bol rahe ke kaun si bhi bachchi a grade nahi lai which means you can remove this because this option says that the students managed to get an a grade few of them right lekin ऑडियो में क्या बोल रही पिटे इट वाज नॉट टू एन ए अरे ए नहीं आए मगर इंप्रूव हुए बच्चियां लेकिन जो है ए ग्रेड्स नहीं ला सके ठीक है व्हिच मींस ए ऑप्शन नंबर ए यू कैन जस्ट रिमूव इट बिकॉज़ इट टॉक्स अबाउट द वुमेन और द स्टूडेंट्स गर्ल स्टूडेंट्स गेटिंग एन ए ग्रेड ठीक है सो डिड यू गाइस गेट इट व्हाट डू यू थिंक इज द आंसर यू हैव द आंसर बट कैन एनीबॉडी नाउ एक्सप्लेन यू आर गेटिंग माय मेथड्स these are not my methods these are all logical ways of finding out the answers for listening so are you guys getting it can anybody explain you have the answer just tell me what are the words which correspond to the right answer over here between b and c i have helped you here in removing one option and making the task easier for you boj thoda kam kar diya main aapka who can say this or if you want me to replay the audio i would do that for you but somebody i want somebody now to explain i've been explaining four five six words uh, sorry the questions now i now want to take some rest <laughs> right right so who wishes to do that mm. okay. I think yeah. they are speaking about women's uh -huh. not not men uh -huh. they're talking about women they're talking they're not talking about men okay yeah. so uh, would you want to say that the positive impact it had on physics results for women or mm. uh, since there is a mention of the word male over here they are not comparing the results of the females with the males over here in the audio so it is only women that they are talking about so that's why the option uh, for yes. the right answer for 26 is a b very good uh, saida yeah the positive mm -hmm. impact it had on physics results for women yes they're not comparing here with the males howsoever yeah very good now 27th greg and lisa who are greg and lisa greg is the boy in the audio and lisa is the girl who is talking in the audio now greg and lisa both of them believe or and think that miyaki's results could have been affected by ye jo results aaye hai वो किस चीज से मुतासर शुदा है ठीक है लेट्स टेक लुक एट दिस नाउ व्हाट आर द ऑप्शंस द लेंथ ऑफ द राइटिंग टास्क जो राइटिंग टास्क को लोग दिए होता लंबा जो जो लिखो बोलकर बोले क्या उसका लंबाई या उसका छोटा होना अफेक्ट uh, uh, किया उन लोगों के परफॉर्मेंस को बेहतर करने के लिए या द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स हु टुक पार्ट या बहुत ज्यादा बच्चे थे बच्चियां थे बोल के जो है उन लोगों के रिजल्ट अच्छे हुए या द इन्फॉर्मेशन द स्टूडेंट्स वर गिवन ठीक है जो टॉपिक उन लोगों को दिए और जो इन्फॉर्मेशन लोगों को दी गई लिखने के लिए टॉपिक दी गई वो चीज जो है मुतासर हुआ यहाँ पर वंस वी हैव डन दिस अर्लियर इट सेल्फ वी नो दंसर राइट अवे इवन इफ यू डोंट बिकॉज लेंथ हाउ वुड लेंथ हेल्प इन इम्प्रूविंग द रिजल्ट हाउ वुड द नंबर ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स 100 200 300 students kitne bhi likho how would that how is that going to help uh, better the performance right so this logically itself are looking um, not looking the answers like the answers right so um, let's uh, let's still 
take a look at why the answer is a C then, right? Greg and Lisa think that Miyake's results could have been affected by, could have been affected. No, but it does suggest that the women were seriously underperforming beforehand in comparison with the men. Yes, mind you, Miyake's article left out a lot of details, like did the students do the writing just once or several times? And had they been told why they were doing the writing, that might have affected the results. Had they been told why? लोगों सिर्फ ये बोला गया था कि आप अपने हॉबीज के बारे में लिखो आप खाली म्यूजिक के बारे में लिखो लेकिन क्यों ऐसा किए कैन समबडी टेल मी नाउ हियर अमंग थ्री ऑफ यू ऐसा क्यों बोले लोग फिजिक्स क्लास में जाने से पहले कई को लिखो बोले भाई फिजिक्स में बच्चों का परफॉर्मेंस गलत बुरा रह रहा था दे वर नॉट परफॉर्मिंग वेरी वेल सो व्हाई वर द टोल्ड व्हाई वर दे टोल्ड टू राइट अबाउट समथिंग दैट दे नो समथिंग अ टॉपिक व्हिच इज मोर नोन टू देम right more personal to them why were they told to write like that to reduce the stress okay we have seen it here to reduce the stress lekin ye reduce stress in logon ka reduce hota so researchers ko hi malum tha wo bachchon ko agar bolte ke tum aisa likho ye likhe to tumhara stress reduce hota bole to the or the the information jo logon ko diya jata iske wajah se रिजल्ट जो आता है वो मुतासर हो सकता था आर यू गेटिंग इट आई डोंट थिंक यू गाइस गॉट इट अगर बच्चों को बोला जाता बच्चों का रिसर्चर्स को मालूम था कि बच्चों का परफॉर्मेंस फिजिक्स में बुरा है तो लोग क्या करें पहले मालूम करें कि लोगों की स्ट्रेस की वजह से जो है ऐसा हो रहा तो लोग क्या करें ठीक है भाई क्लास फिजिक्स क्लास में जाने से पहले आप एक ऐसा ऐसे लिखो जो टॉपिक है आप जो है वो टॉपिक के लिखो के ऊपर लिखो आपके अम्मी के बारे में लिखते लिखो आपके खाला के बारे में लिखते लिखो आप म्यूजिक के बारे में लिखते लिखो आपके बाइक के बारे में जो बोले आपका समथिंग विच इज पर्सनल टू यू नथिंग रिलेटेड टू कॉलेज स्टडीज आप लिखना चाहते आप लिखिए इससे क्या हुआ जब वो लिखे तो लोगों का स्ट्रेस लेवल कम हो गया और उन लोगों के जो है परफॉर्मेंस बेहतर हुआ क्योंकि वो स्ट्रेसफुल नहीं थे फिजिक्स क्लास में ये सिर्फ साइकोलॉजिकल एक स्ट्रेस था उन लोगों के जिसकी वजह से जो है उन बहुत ज्यादा सोच रहे थे उसके वजह से उन लोगों का रिजल्ट पोअर आने लगा तो इन लोग क्या करें ऐसा बोल रहे राइट कि कौन सा भी एक लिखो बोलकर सिर्फ इतना ही बोले रिसर्चर्स कौन सा भी एक पर्सनल टॉपिक के ऊपर आप लिखो आपके हॉबी के ऊपर लिखो लेकिन ये नहीं बोले कि उन लोग ये कई को लिखा रहे हैं बोलकर ठीक है ना अगर बोल देते कि कई को लिखा रहे हैं तो रिजल्ट जैसा अच्छा हो गया बच्चों का वैसा रिजल्ट अच्छा नहीं आता जैसे का वैसा ही रहता अगर बोल देते कि कई को लिखा रहे हैं ठीक है ना आई होप इट इज मोर क्लियर नाउ गाइस आर यू गेटिंग इट ऑल थ्री ऑफ यू यस 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 सर सर गेटिंग इट ठीक है सो द इंफॉर्मेशन विच द स्टूडेंट वर गिवन that would have affected the uh, the the results guys just give me one minute there's some water which spill just give me one minute guys i have to pause for 2 to 3 minutes just give me one minute 2 to 3 minutes this conference will now be recorded guys i'm sorry um there's water i was drinking and this water spill all through my uh, not not all through but uh, on the significant parts of my laptop right so i just want to ensure that i dry it because if i do not dry it and the water goes into the motherboard it creates a lot of problem right so i would regretfully want to stop the session over here and then we'll continue tomorrow what do you say sure sir no problem Yes, fine. I will continue from where we had left, and then we'll also I'll, again uh, would play the audio, or I'll play the audio for tomorrow's uh, session, and then we'll discuss the answers, including these ones. Okay, from 21 to 40. Okay. 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 And tomorrow, guys, I want you guys to do this underlining of test. Let me just tell you which test it should be. Um, yeah, do this. Yes, do this, guys. Test two. It's uh, page number thirty-nine of PDF. Page number thirty-nine, Cambridge eleven, general. Okay. 
Sure. So please open this and then do the underlining. I want you guys to have this underlining with you, right? Usko likhiye ya Xerox lijiye, print lijiye, underline these ones. That would really, really be very helpful, right? All right, guys. Then thank you. Page yeah, yeah. right? I'm sorry. No. Page number yeah. twenty nine. Oh, one thing, one body, uh, one one person at a time. So yeah, the first. Yeah, it's a page number twenty nine, right? Thirty nine, thirty nine. See this? 39. 39. Yes. 39. Yeah, somebody else was asking something. Feroz or Asmat? Hmm. If I want to practice the session, this right, right? So do you uh -huh. have the re uh, like recording uh, that? Uh, I have the recording. I have the recording, but what you can do is the simple, simply go to youtube.com and type uh, Cambridge. For example, this is Cambridge 11 test okay. 2. Just type Cambridge 11 test 2. You'll get the entire audio for all the 1, 2, 3, and 4 sections. Okay. Okay, and if you want to do it for uh, Cambridge 13 test 3, you can type it accordingly, right? All this can be uh, get in the YouTube itself, right? YouTube itself, yes, all of them, right? Thank you, sir. Okay, guys, I just got to drive my uh, this laptop. I'll just have to um, wrap, wrap it up. I'm so sorry for that. Yeah. So see you tomorrow, guys. Yeah, take care. Bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye.